Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. It is the end of the first week of this. And if you've watched all of the Power Mornings, thank you so much. I hope they have been beneficial to you and to your business to kind of give you that foundation for um, consistency. I'm really excited about, um, I have a fun video to show you. So this is something that we were shown at Superstar Director Summit, and it was really powerful. So I am going to show you this video real quick. Let me share my screen. All right, get ready for this video. Here comes the runner. Can I run with you? Sure. Is that okay? Yeah. Hey, could I run with you? Yeah. Can I just join your jog? Let's do it. I'm just about done, but I'll go with you to the end. Okay. I'm Asia Morgan. Nice to meet you, Morgan. 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 I've been forward to station one. First time going up. Thank you. That was awesome. All right. So that was a really powerful moment when a stranger, somebody she didn't even know, was like, hey, can I join your jog? She's like, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. And they wrote posters to cheer her on just this random gal who was running cheer her on and she was going to quit. I wonder how many of those other runners were going to quit. So the reason I wanted to show you that was the little milestones matter, right? Cheering people on matters. You guys matter. Whether or not we're actually physically running and, and holding up signs for you or putting capes and crowns on your body, handing you water, you guys matter. Yeah. It's so much power in um, just being there for people. Okay. So today's prompt, Cynthia Risa, so glad you could join us. Today's prompt is actually a follow-up Friday. I'm very excited about this one because this one's going to be easy to remember, right? This one should be easy to do. The first cue, help me. 
make it as big as I can. All right, follow up Friday. Follow up with, with five to 10 current customers. Just, hey, check in and see how you're doing. Make it personal. Um, so if you need to beforehand, go ahead and check their uh, Facebook page, their Instagram account. Um, see if you can, if you need any pertinent details about them. Um, and then just, hey, do you have any questions about your product experience or product use? If you have an open house coming up or if you're going to be at a market or something, um, make sure that they know about it. Invite them if they're local. Or if you have like an online thing for your customers. Awesome. Um, next thing is follow up with five to 10 leads. Hey friend, happy Friday. Add something personal again, something that you might already know about them. Circling back with you about your interest in this. You had mentioned wanting to try it out or the possibility of starting. I wanted to see if you had any questions I could answer about it or if you'd like to help get started up today. <clears throat> Let me know how I can help. So very simple. So make sure you screenshot that if you need to. Um, but just a simple way to follow up with people. And it's Friday, so I love a good acronym. Follow up Friday. <laughs> Wait, acronym? No, alliteration. Yep, that's the one I meant. You guys, it's 536. It's fine. It's an alliteration. What are you guys working on today? Trying to keep my phone from falling in the car. <laughs> so, um... Yesterday, there was a post shared in one of our groups, and it was um, if they could win a free warmer, and they put all the spring and su um, summer new warmers in a photo. So I actually have five people who have been kind of ghosted on the VIP page comment, and I followed up with all of them for um, one of the shopping scrolls, and I had four respond back with yes. So I'm working on that to kind of get it going. Vendor, um, not vendor, but host this packets because I kind of didn't order things when I, when the first, the catalog came out, mm -hmm. I ordered them early yesterday morning. So I'm hoping they'll get in, in on time. But if I don't have catalogs to send them, what would you recommend sending them in a hostess packet? What do you have? <clears throat> so I have what I, um, right now for the new spring and summer, mm -hmm. I just printed out like, um, one of the almost like a rat card um and i've been printing them out as i go with the new with five of the new scents awesome do you have yeah. um there's also something that was shared on canva it's a trifold uh let me see if i have one but it's essentially just hey here's oh i got a lot of random stuff you guys um <laughs> some of our favorites here's a six pack option a uh, bars and pods um, talks a little bit about some bundles coupons aka club um, a free gift and that's just what they're doing is the scroll and shop so that could be something that you add to um, you can modify it just to say hey um so excited for your party here's a way to maximize it because a couple awesome. of years ago we also had like a host packet kind of explaining what they should do um, maybe a qr code to the catalog yeah. Yeah. So you don't have to have much, keep it simple, but like scent stickers. Um, if you want to send a sample, maybe if you have some felt samples or something, you could always yeah. do that. Okay. But keep it simple, but then focus on, um, talking with them. Cause honestly, that's where I have the biggest gap is that I forget to continue the conversation. And I know that sounds so silly because like they're hosting, right? You're supposed to talk to them, but it's, if it's not going to be in person at their house, my brain just like has this gap and I forget to keep following up with them and talk with them. Okay. Okay. That's what I have to work on today. Cause I told them the next round, well, the wording that um, I was given, I modified it, but the, the next round would be on the 14th. So I'm like, that gives me enough time to put them together, send them out to them. Um, and then out of those shopping links onto um, the part, the page. So I have those going there and two of them are coaches. So I kind of, told them they could do it both ways that I could put them on because so how would you recommend this I have two of them that are already open as fundraisers Ooh. um but she kind of wanted a double dip in there so I was like well we can add them together and then once you hit your party um and then because she's like I don't know if I have I'll have too many people shop it so I gave her the option to put it in with the fundraiser 
and then um the fundraiser she, but then I was kind of curious because if she didn't think she would make it to the link but she's like I don't really care about um the rewards as much if unless I get just for the little warmer that she's looking for she's only looking for one warmer so should I keep them separate or should I add them together why doesn't she think she'll be able to get the minimum um she's tried it before she's hosted before but she's never reached the minimum even with in person me going to her house what, um, was, what was the host coaching like for that um I sent her I actually sent VIP packs with samples at that time because it was a fall and winter and I had sent her um I sent five of her first people that entered and there was only seven so I actually sent to seven but I told mm -hmm. her the first five people that would um and w they all kind of just ordered a bar but nothing more than a bar how did you follow up with the customers after you sent the packets um, after I sent the packets, I had invited them to her in person because I did that before them coming to her party. Mm -hmm. um, and they had RSVP'd and they had filled out like a little questionnaire because I asked them what scents that they would like or what they were looking at. And I had brought those with me, but only her mom and her best friend showed up to the event, okay, even though they had RSVP'd. Did you follow up with everybody who you sent the packet to besides yes. just, okay, how did you follow up? I followed up with an email. Okay. Um, and then some of them, I had text them because I didn't have the email. So she had provided me with a text number, mm -hmm. um, with the addresses. Did they talk to you or did they ignore you? Um, two talked to me and the other ones didn't out of the seven. Okay. But they weren't the two that showed up to her party. Okay. Does she know more than seven people? Yeah. She works at a school. Would she be able to take in, but you said they're doing a fundraiser too. So this is where it might well, get. I, I do, that's what I was thinking. She has a, we have a fundraiser going. There's a fundraiser for the group that she's in, but I kept it separate, but I was thinking, should I combine them? But then I was thinking, what if I don't, because it's already a little hard now so that she, there wouldn't really come much from the fundraiser. Is I'm sorry. Is the fundraiser for the school? No, not for the school, but it's for the program that. Okay. If it's not for the school, then I would encourage it to be separate and ask if she can take like some samples to the break room and ask okay. her coworkers, like say, Hey, I'm, I'm putting in a bulk order. Did you guys want to add anything? Okay. Or I'm putting in a group order. Okay. She doesn't have to say anything about a party, but say, Hey, I'm collecting, I'm, I'm putting in a group order. Did you want to add anything to it? Okay, so maybe group order is a yes. keyword. Because yes. it kind of takes, you know, people are so funny with words. Saying something like yeah. order in that setting takes away from, oh gosh, a party. I, and I don't know why our human brains are like that. <laughs> brains are wild, you know? Yeah, they are. <laughs> group order instead of party. Okay. Try full. That's exciting that you got so many yeses though. Yeah, no, because I, so I've been posting in, in my VIP page um, more frequently. And then I've been using like um, yesterday I had posted on there a picture of myself and my husband and my son from Halloween from, um, for May 4th. And I had yeah. been doing some leads up lead ups to that. And then just using my little one um, as there, and I can see all the number of people looking at it, but nobody really commenting. So I was like, okay. And then I did the interactive one, which I had done an interactive one yesterday was Thursday on Tuesday. And I had a couple people answer that. So I just kept making sure that I was bumping it with commenting as soon as some, well, about an hour after somebody would comment on there, mm -hmm. um, that kind of helped. So I was, I was really shocked and I was super excited. That's so, so cool. I'm really happy to hear that. That's the goal. Cool. So, um, <clears throat> what we're working on, what we do during the day is um, we write our three tasks that we need to complete and then work on our checklist. So that's just all we're doing right now. Did you find these sheets? 
I didn't actually go back in there yesterday. Oh, okay. It's just, you know, I've talked about it before. It's just the, the five by seven checklist. I've talked about it as the five by five, but because we're doing a 90 day challenge, um, it's the five by seven. <clears throat> so that's what we're doing right now. Okay. So if there's anything you want to do, or if you want to get that task done, follow up with five to 10, um, customers and five to 10 leads or if you have any other questions no but that's mine um that's good five seven five to ten customers five to ten leads mm -hmm. what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to the office now because i'm probably gonna do 15 minutes with you in the morning to just get your prompts perfect cool. because i should be at work <laughs> i'm in the parking lot and i'm like <laughs> I'll in a few minutes so i'll do these and then i'll look for that one um because i went back to it yesterday in ohana you said in ohana and i went and i started searching and then i got off real quick okay so that's it might be to easiest to just with. search for my name because i haven't posted much in there okay so you might just okay. do that it, and it could be in one of the past events but i'm i'm pretty sure it's in the files or the photos files or photos okay yeah. perfect um the canva one do you by chance have that that i can get off of you the trifold bet i do oh shoot i don't know what i just did Okay. Risa, do you remember what it was called? Risa, you're muted. Mine's called my trifold, like tri T R I dash fold. Okay. Um, hold on. So probably copy of my my mine might be my monthly trifold. Copy of my monthly trifold. That's what yours is called, actually. No. No, it's not. Um, hold on. Uh, hold on. Your my monthly trifold is your three across. Yeah. Uh, mine is called my trifold for SS twenty twenty three. Did we just pull mine out? Um. If you want, hold, uh. Mine I'm has tremendous junk in it, so you'll have to sort through. <laughs> but it's a couple pages down. But let me just put that in the chat real quick so you can grab that link. Okay. All right. I have a lot of stuff in there. <laughs> Yikes. Probably should clean it up. But that's not today Ariel's problem. <laughs> but it wasn't yesterday's either nope. <laughs> who knows future ariel can't wait to clean that stuff up it happens well were you able to snag that um yeah i'm looking to uh, get into it post coaching is actually on my to-do list today um, speaking of that, I found a, my, my good host coaching Canva. Ooh, sure, sure. Uh, you know, when I was, now I can't find it. <laughs> okay, great. It's right here. I mean, I'm in here though, so. Um, I mean, I do have a couple. It's just figuring out what's going to work best for me. That's going to, that I'm going to use, you know? Yeah. And I have something on boards too. Ooh, that would be helpful. Somebody just needs to clean it up. <laughs> oh. I have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Does that help? My weekly customer went out, email went out, so I'm good there. Yeah, mine didn't. Thanks. Um, okay. Good. All right. Are you going into work now? Yes, going to work. Well, thanks for joining. Thank you. Bye. Bye. All right. So on my list, doing the host coaching stuff. Lord, you have been so, so good. 
so mm -mm, I need to connect with five to 10 new people. Where did that go? Monthly subscription and apps, monthly goals. Um, so I want to my offer is, I don't know if this is, does this fall under offer? I don't know. Um, I want to post um, my selfie of holding a pod and be like, I want, I'm looking for two plus people that would like, that need six pods that are would like a discount and maybe that that like discounts and maybe even half price things basically it's a club post right i could tell where you were going with it um oh i have host packets too actually i have a i think i have a spring summer one um that falls under offer, right? Yeah. Um, if you're making a post, though, that falls under the post. The offer is a one-to-one. -one. Uh, right, right, right. Um, okay, so pod. Shoot, post. I forgot to close my order out last night. <laughs> Good job. Writing that um, to the list. The kids were picking out um, gifts for their teachers. And then we, you know, got caught up in the night and what we had to do. So I'm gonna close it right now, even though it says May 4 on it. That's right. It's so fun they um, want to get their kid or their teachers the uh the Sensi Go. That's what they're giving them? Uh-huh. In two mm. pods. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. So that's kind of my goal for the weekend is to hopefully get kind of hone in that way. And I'm going to put like exclusions apply because I'm afraid that it's going to be my club people. They're going to be like me, me, me. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Right. So I'm going to be like exclusions apply. And then I'm going to offer to even like set it up for them and kind of not say a whole lot, kind of set it up for them and then kind of backwards engineer. <laughs> Yeah, I um, think it's so hard to, because sometimes people just get so turned off because of other subscription programs, like locking them in and not being able to edit and change, having all these weird fees. So I feel like yeah. just setting it up for them is easier than saying, okay, here's your login, here's your info. Change yeah. It, you know, X amount of times. A when you get an email, you can change it or Remind, or if you haven't changed it before, the email will prompt you to remind you to change it or something on those lines. Mm -hmm. um, and the other thing is, is the uh, whole, the whole like it, love it part of the website now that's new. I need to educate myself on that a little bit more. Actually, I'm, I'm sure it's easy, but I need to educate my customers on that a little bit more because of it. What are you talking about? Um, there's a whole, like, you know how you can like share a cart where there's a whole thing that you can like have a wish list now. Oh yeah, yeah, the wish list. Mm -hmm. Yeah, couldn't think of the words at the time that I started talking about it. I was thinking, like it, love it. We've got sheets that you can mark that off. I, well, I just looked at the like it, love it, so that's what came to that's mind. Why it was fresh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So those are kind of my my sales prompts for the day, I guess. Okay. And obviously, like, my email is going to go out for Beauty and the Beast and all that. And um, I know what my, like, gift for new clubbers are going to be. I decided that last night, I think. Because, um, I mean, it's so hard. It's so hard. Mm -hmm. And usually my clubbers are the ones who like have everything or get everything or are afraid to try everything or yeah. So I think I figured all that out. I'm still looking for my host coaching thing. Just so you know, can I pay somebody to clean up my Canva? 
Just saying. <laughs> oh. There's gotta be a better way to sort this too. Like, can I sort by alphabetical? <laughs> oh. I did the whole, um, like my like brain dump on like how I felt too about yesterday and, and the stuff I didn't do and today and the stuff I need to do and like what I'm scared that I won't accomplish and why. Mm -hmm. So I went through kind of that process a little bit. Yeah, I think um, I think working through the stories we tell ourselves, I'm like, okay, I didn't finish this, but why? Why didn't I finish? What was actually stopping me? I and I know, I, and I'm preparing well. myself, like, today, uh, my fears of all the stuff I need to do. And I think that the thought of my time restraints is going to actually slow me down versus speed me up. Because I'm afraid, like, I only have this amount of time, and then this is going to happen, and then this is going to happen. And I think that's going to actually, like, almost like analysis paralysis kind of concept, you mm -hmm. know? So it was almost like I need to get out and recognize it now. Mm -hmm. um, let's see if I could like move past it before, before it happens. <laughs> I don't know. And then I, I don't know. I have guilt too. Like, well, this isn't clean or this laundry isn't done or I need to do this or whatever, you know? Mm-hmm. But I really like that today is just follow up Friday too. And well, and yeah, with, I mean, with the with the prompts too. If there's a day that was missed um, for anybody watching the replays or catching up late, like don't not do something. It's okay to post more than one time a day, you know, or there more more than yeah one time a day. I thought I said that wrong. And I think today's a good day too to talk about yesterday's because I didn't do yesterday's but you can almost get my feelings out as to why I didn't do yesterday's with yeah. doing yesterday's today if that makes sense oh well I think it's important to acknowledge that the feelings of oh I have to catch up those are just like the feelings and the pressures we put on ourselves. just make that to-do list and do what you can and then move on because when the feelings of oh gosh I have to get caught up it's like okay well you're behind Maybe you just didn't get things done when you wanted, but I feel like that's a heavier feeling than just have, I have stuff to do. <laughs> oh, I just came across you a picture of longer hair, like much longer hair, like down to your hair area. What do you call this? Collarbone? Collarbone. I know, yeah. I'm working on growing my hair out, but she is, she's being spicy. She's like, actually, I'm going to stay as short as possible. You'll just cut it again. No, I'm going to grow it out this time. I mean, yeah, eventually mm -hmm. I'll cut it, but like, I'm going to grow it out again. That's the season I'm in. All right. So I have all of my thank you sent circles pulled. I need to follow up with the people who didn't fill out the, um, the form are you gonna send them like one reminder or like two? i think just i think just one reminder is good oh there's another i'd like to know more Ooh, i didn't see that yeah i gotta dig through that i gotta write that down though so before dig. i go to my party i should ask him i'd like to know mores <laughs> mores <laughs> You know, it's weird. Um, sometimes my job form duplicates entries and sometimes it doesn't. And then sometimes people fill it out again. Like, did they think I, <laughs> did they think I needed it twice? I don't know. Sometimes I get two emails, but it doesn't duplicate entries. What is happening in this world? Okay, guys. Oh, stop the hour. Um, okay. Happy Power 30. Happy Friday. Um, 
catch up when you can, but don't make it a feeling of catching up, right? Um, and don't forget, we are not doing Power 30 on the weekends, just during the weekday. But if you still want to do a Power 30 on the weekend, there's no one saying that you can't. I, you're not beholden to me being on this Zoom. Like, you don't have to wait for me. You can do your own thing. But I'll see you bright and early Monday morning. Have a good weekend, guys. Bye.